Hey guys, what's up? This is Evan from Stark Music Musician, and today I want to answer the question, is it worth it to sign up for TuneSat if you're sort of a um, stock music publisher? Um, so by stock music, I mean you're licensing music on a regular basis on a site like Pond5 or Audio Jungle or something like that. Um, you've seen some success there. You might have even received some royalties, but you're also worried that maybe not all of your cue sheets are being filed. Um, so that's who I'm talking about this for. But let's also talk about what is TuneSat. Well, TuneSat is a service where you upload the like wave files of your songs to it. It like digitally fingerprints them, and then it scans all the TV broadcasts going on in either the U.S. or the EU or both, and sees if your if a match comes up for your track. Um, and if it does, it alerts you. Um, so the reason you might be interested in this is because if you've sold a song and it gets placed on TV, publicly performed, and you've registered that song with a performing rights organization like BMI or ASCAP, um, then you're generally due a royalty payment for that. Um, and so, but you only get that payment if the TV show creators, producers, um, someone on their team submits what's called a cue sheet to your performing rights organization aka BMI or ASCAP or whatever. Um, and so TuneSat sort of lets you, alerts you if there's situations where you know, hey, um, th my song keeps on getting played here, but nobody's filing a cue sheet. Um, so what I did is I signed up for a free plan, uh, TuneSat.com. You can sign up for a free plan, which I think lets you monitor 50 songs. Um, and I think it's just in the US. I'm not positive about that. Um, just to see how it might work. Um, so I put my 50 most popular songs up there, the ones that I've licensed the most. Um, and this was a couple months ago, and I still haven't gotten any hits for them uh, from TuneSat, which either means that TuneSat isn't working, but I don't think that's the case because I've read plenty of places on forums and stuff where artists find hits, you know, that where TuneSat finds hits and artists are sharing that TuneSat is finding their songs. I think it's generally more that um, for people that are licensing music via sites like Pond5, um, that not many of them make their way onto TV. Um, and TuneSat, for example, would charge um, like $180 a month or more uh, to track 100, U 100 songs in the U.S. and in the EU. Uh, so basically, to me, it does not seem like it's worthwhile to use TuneSat if you're in the stock music game, uh, unless you're really just doing huge numbers of tracks, uh, or unless you're licensing a few tracks a huge number of times. Um, to me, that it's it just the economics of it don't pencil out for the type of music that we create. Um, and now, if you'd like to learn more about um, how to license your music and how to get you know, paid front end and back end royalties and all of that. I've got a free five day crash course on music licensing. Um, there'll be a link down below. Um, you should check that out. Um, and if you've had different experiences with TuneSat, please let me know um, because who knows? I mean, this is just my personal experience with it, uh, but I don't think it would be um, valuable to most people sign their songs on Pond5. Um, also, if you're interested, be sure to like and subscribe for more info on how to start selling your music. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.